Hey guys, this is Matt with Phoenix Mobile Home. If you don't know who I am, I'm a mobile home dealer here in Phoenix, Arizona. I buy, sell, I do everything mobile home related. We offer new homes and used homes. Today, I'm standing in a mobile home that we own here in North Phoenix. This is a home that we're in the process of renovating. Uh, today, we're gonna to be talking about inspections and more or less uh, inspections on mobile homes. It's not very common. However, if you are purchasing a mobile home, whether you're buying from me or somebody else, it might be a good idea to have an inspection. Um, if you have someone that's handy in your family, maybe a contractor, maybe they can help you walk the property as you're purchasing the mobile home. So as you can see, this mobile home, we've already pulled up the carpet and everything. Uh, it needs a little bit of work, but more or less the bones of the home are good. Um, today, I'm just gonna be walking through. I'll show you exactly what I'm looking for when I'm purchasing a mobile home. That way you can make an educated purchase uh, on your next mobile home or your, your only mobile home. So first thing I, I walk in is I'm trying to see if there's an odor. Uh, <clears throat> if you don't have a great sense for smell, maybe you bring someone in your family that does have a good sense for smell. It's really important uh, because you wanna know if they're a smoker, if they have pets. I've walked into mobile homes where there's 10, 15 cats or sometimes they're smoking cigarettes in the, the living room. Well, they're smoking uh, in the living room, it's very difficult to get uh, the odor out of the drywall and whatnot. So first thing I check for is an odor. Um, the other thing is, you know, an odor is gonna tell you if the structure is good. So for example, if you walk in and the home's very musty, they probably have a water leak or there might be a roof leak. So that's the first thing I do is I check for smell. Uh, the next thing I do is I'm gonna walk the entire perimeter of the house uh, looking for signs of leaks and whatnot. This home, there was a sign of a water leak and I'll point it out when we get over there, but uh, I'm gonna check the roof. So the roof is very important on a mobile home. It's, it's one of the most important features of the house is whether uh, the, the roof is good and good structural condition, uh, no leaks and whatnot. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk around and check the perimeter of the entire house. I'm gonna check under the windows because what happens is in these mobile homes, uh, you get a lot of leaks by the windows and then you get leaks by the door. So if they don't have good uh, gutter system or awnings protecting the windows from leaks, you're probably gonna see signs of leaks. What happens is you'll, you'll see dry rot, but then also what happens is you're gonna get soft spots by the doors and whatnot. So I'll walk the entire perimeter. It can be very difficult sometimes when they have furniture inside the homes. Um, sometimes if you're buying a mobile home from a private party, they're gonna try to cover that up. Uh, I've bought homes where they put a couch over a hole in the floor. Um, it happens, uh, just know that you can fix it, but you wanna definitely try to find everything during your inspection period. So as I'm walking around, I'm gonna turn on every single light switch to see if lights are moving, uh, to check the electrical. If you have an electrician that you know of, it'd be probably wise to bring them on. So first is roof, then I start walking the perimeter, checking for soft spots, and I'll obviously I'll check the electric. So for example, this light turns on. Um, <clears throat> this room doesn't have a light, but it would be on lamps. So I'll still check to see if the lamps are turning on and off as I'm walking through the house. And as you can see, now we have the carpet up, but when I purchased this home, they had a bed right here and they had their nightstand. So I still, I do my best to step around and check to make sure that there's no leaks, no soft spots under the windows. And as you can see, there's no signs of water damage. Usually you'll see it right in the corners or you'll see it right on the face of the windowsill. Um, another thing, windows are very easy to fix, but you'll notice if they've upgraded their windows, sometimes you can see um, a lot of times when I purchase homes, the windows are cracked, broken. Uh, sometimes the screens are missing. Sometimes the parks will actually make you replace the screens on the outside just to bring up the aesthetics of the house. Um, another very common thing is we're checked in to see if there's any water damage. A lot of times uh, the water heaters, <coughs> I don't know where the water heater is on this home, but you'll see water heaters stored in the closets and sometimes you'll have leaks uh, by the closet and if the water heater is not draining correctly or doesn't have a drain installed, like a pan installed, you'll see soft spots in the closet sometimes. Another pro tip is to check the closets for signs of leaks. Because a lot of times, um, you know, if they've patched up a leak on the ceiling, the roof, uh, they'll fix it, but sometimes in the closet, you'll still see uh, signs that maybe there was a leak previously. So 
I'll check, like I said, I check the entire edges of the mobile homes and I check the ceilings for signs of leaks. Um, when I get to the bathrooms, let me see if I can find the light switch. If I can find the light switch. Where's the light switch? Is it over here? Yep, so light switch is out there. So when I get into the bathroom, I always check around the tubs and I'm just feeling for a soft spot because anytime there's a source of water, there's a chance that there's a soft spot. So I'm always constantly feeling to see if there's soft spots by the tubs. Um, I'm checking for soft spots under the sinks. Obviously I open up the sinks. As you can see, these faces need to be redone. They're very cheap to buy, so that's not an issue when I purchase a mobile home. And I'm looking to see what type of piping they have inside the mobile home. <coughs> and then I'm also checking for signs that there might have been a leak at some point. Um, polybutylene pipes, obviously not ideal. Um, a lot of these 90s, 80s model homes do have polybutylene. Uh, there's a possibility at some point you might have to upgrade to PEX. So right behind you is the toilet. Same goes for the toilet. We're just checking for signs that there might be soft spots, might have had leaks. Um, I do that for every restroom. Coming out to the kitchen. Same story. We're just checking to see uh, if all the appliances work. Um, sometimes, you know, their stove won't work or the oven won't work. Uh, you want to check to see if it's got a gas range or electric uh, because that will fit your lifestyle. If you want gas appliances, but the home doesn't have gas, new mobile homes sometimes don't offer gas, um, you know, that could be a con. Um, as you can see, this cabinet door needs to be replaced. That's 20 bucks, 30 bucks to uh, buy a new one. So it's just something that we're looking for as we're walking through. Checking for leaks, obviously. And then as you can see, at some point, they, they probably had um, a spill or a leak in the fridge. It's not a huge thing, not a big deal, but it is something that you want to note as you're walking through the home. Um, during my initial walkthrough, I found out that this light doesn't work. So I'll for sure have to have an electrician check this out. Uh, whether I sell it re completely renovated or sell it as is, this is something that I'm aware of. And obviously here's the, the two front rooms. Um, another thing to note is whether they have blinds. Some of the houses don't have blinds. Well, if you have to put blinds on 10, 15, 20 different windows, that adds up. That could be $1,000 worth of money that you have to spend just on blinds. So that is something to take a mental note of. Uh, we got a guy outside blowing leaves, unfortunately. So that is um, unfortunate, but um, Another major thing to check after checking for soft spots, check your roof, is you're going to want to check all of your uh, major mechanical systems. So you want to make sure that the AC unit, uh, the heater, the furnace works. Uh, check to make sure that, you know, the oven, the stove, uh, you're going to want to make sure if you're purchasing the mobile home that they're part of the sale. If not, just keep a mental note that, hey, you know, it's an extra $2,000 that you might have to spend on appliances. So. Checking for soft spots, plumbing, electric. Next, we're gonna pop outside really quick. And we're gonna battle this uh, leaf blower, but we're gonna do a quick walkthrough at the outside. And I'll just give you a quick walkthrough on what I'm checking for on the exterior of a mobile home. <coughs> so, first thing is landscaping, because a lot of these mobile home parks here in Arizona, they have requirements on what needs to be done prior to the sale of a mobile home. <clears throat> so for this one, for example, we'll have to take care of the landscaping. We're going to have to clean up all these pavers. Some parks have requirements on um, if you can have pavers, brick, all that stuff. So we'll probably have to pull the brick up. The next thing is this shed. Uh, some parks have requirements on shed size. And if the, the home, uh, the shed's not grandfathered in, you might have to replace the shed or bring it up to the community standard. So for sure, we'll probably have to repaint this shed. Looking at the house. <coughs> This is the house. So all of the skirting was peeled off in certain places. So the first thing that we said is, okay, let's reskirt the entire home. Well, if you're gonna reskirt a mobile home, you're looking at probably anywhere from a thousand to two thousand dollars, depending on uh, if you're paying for labor, paying for material. Uh, so that that can get pretty pricey really quick. As far as the <laughs> actual condition of the uh, siding and whatnot, you're gonna want to make mental notes because down here. 
there's clear signs that either you have termite damage or you have uh, potential uh, rot, uh, wood rot, because it, the drainage wasn't correct. So you'll have to take mental notes as you're walking around the outside of the house whether the, the siding is in good shape because it can get really pricey really quick. As far as painting, you're gonna need to speak with the park prior to actually painting your house. Sometimes you can power wash the house and it turns out good. Other times you're gonna to have to repaint the house. Well, if it hasn't been painted in 20 years, you might have to prime the house first. Uh, you can either use a primer or a flat paint, uh, but regardless, prior to actually painting, you're gonna to have to speak with your community to see if they have a color palette that you have to abide by. Some parks here in Arizona have specific colors that you need to uh, paint the house. So you'd have a, a specific color for the body, and you'd have another separate color for the trim of the mobile home. So continuing on, <clears throat> for example, we're just gonna be looking for stuff that doesn't look right. For example, they have an outlet on the outside of the house that's not covered, and they're running electric to the shed. That's gonna to need to be addressed. Uh, some parks here in Arizona, they'll actually make you bring in landscape rock. So if you don't have good uh, rock coverage on your lot, sometimes you have to bring in new rocks. So small stuff like this, you just wanna make sure you're aware prior to purchasing the home. And as you can see, we've already peeled up all of the skirt. <coughs> the AC unit works, um, but we're gonna have a contractor come out and make sure everything's brought up to code, everything is done correctly. So like I said, if, if, you're, if you're not comfortable looking at the project, it's probably wise to bring in an inspector uh, just to make sure you know sort of what you're walking into on day one. Um, so we'll, we'll be cleaning up the outside. We've already cleaned up some of the landscape over here, but we still have more work to do. Obviously, uh, we're gonna be skirting here in the next week or so, so we'll, we'll get an updated video just to show you what a uh, properly skirted mobile home looks like. And then really quick, since it's getting loud, um, it's important to walk on the decks and porches because what happens is sometimes, uh, since these decks have been outside and if water's sitting on them, the wood's gonna get so soft and start to rot. So we're gonna have to put in some more two by six bracing on this porch just to make sure it's done correctly. And you know, that's a thousand dollars. So if you forgot to walk on the porch, that would have been a complete surprise to you. So let's get out of here since it's loud. But um, you know, if you need help or if you need recommendations as far as potential inspectors here in Arizona, my name is Matt. I'm a mobile home dealer. I buy, sell, use mobile homes and new mobile homes. Uh, we're here to help you out. So if you're gonna buy a mobile home from me or somebody else, definitely recommend bringing in a professional to take a look and make sure you know what you're purchasing. As always, please leave a comment below. If you need help, reach out. Catch you in the next video.